Hey there and welcome to episode number six of Jovo's video series on staging for voice app development. At this time I'm going to show you how to deploy your dialog flow agent with the Jovo CLI without leaving your command line interface. So let's get started. Uh, if we take a look at the current project, um, we've had an app.json and defined um, two stages, a one local stage and one development stage, and, uh, but we've been only working with Alexa so far. So we have an Alexa skill object here. Um, we deployed um, the, the dev um, Alexa skill into a Lambda function. Um, we've added several other things like language model overrides. We deployed them to different um, Alexa developer accounts and even used DynamoDB. And so um, this time we will talk about Dialogflow or Google Actions. And we will have to take a few steps um, to initialize the Google Action project, create a Dialogflow agent, and then set, set it up in a way that we can just use the Jovo CLI to, to deploy it to Dialogflow. And so let's get started with the initialization of the Google Action um, project. So let's go to our terminal and type in Jovo init Google Action, similar to what we did in the first episode. So this just updated our app.json file and added a Google Action uh, object. So let's take a look. If we take a look here, um, the Google Action object was added as a last element um, of the JSON file. So if we scroll all the way down, we can find the Google Action object here. And just to keep things organized, let's just um, cut that out, remove that comma here, and add it to the top so that we have everything together. And so we have an Alexa skill object now in the Google, op in the Google Action object, and Google um, doesn't provide all the NLU um, built in like Alexa does here with the, the own Alexa uh, interaction models. Google by default uses Dialogflow. So the speech recognition and the natural language understanding are split into two tools. So uh, Google Assistant does the speech recognition for you, but then passes it to Dialogflow, which does the natural language understanding. And so, uh, and we need to set up a few things to um, to work with Dialogflow correctly. And so usually um, if we um, wanted to get started, we would usually um, do Jovo build. And Jovo build, um, as a reminder, is there to create platform specific project files. So um, this one should, should now have created a Google Action folder in the platforms folder and then with a Dialogflow folder and you can see the agent.json here, it already has my webhook URL and all the intents that we have. And so this is um, how the, the platforms folder for Google Actions looks like. And usually uh, we would uh, need to um, do a few things by hand. So the problem with uh, Dialogflow is that it's not as easy to deploy to, uh, to deploy to it programmatically. And so usually you would go to Dialogflow, here's the console, so I haven't created an agent yet. Uh, I would click on create agent, would maybe call it like stage test agent, for example, click create. This takes a while. And then I would either um, set it up so that I uh, ha can deploy it um, programmatically, or I could um, update it by hand, which is quite tedious. And so there's one thing that uh, Jovo does for you is um, if you do, let's clear it up, Jovo deploy platform Google Action, for example, um, this will create a zip file. It would go into the, um, the Google Action platforms folder dialogflow agent.zip and you can then use that um, to import it into dialogflow to make that easier. So if you go here in the, into the settings, go to export and import and then restore.zip and you can just drag and drop um, the dialogflow agent.zip file, um, type in restore and it's updated, done. And so if you now take a look at the different intents um, you see that all the intents here are added. If we click on fulfillment, for example, uh, also you can also see that the, the webhook um, is added as well as, an URL, as a URL. 
Okay, so, uh, but that's quite tedious. So you would always have to go into your browser, go into export and import, click on restore. And so th those are quite some manual steps. And so ideally, uh, similar to the Alexa skill, we would want to have the Dialogflow agent uh, created uh, programmatically from our uh, CLI so that we don't have to do all these manual steps. And for this, we need to set it up. Uh, we need to set up a few things. Um, so the, the first uh, thing is uh, to make sure that um, you have a v2 API enabled. So um, the Jova CLI uses the Dialogflow um, version 2 API for authentication. Um, so v1 API, which is supported by Jova framework, isn't supported for automatic deployment. And so make sure you, um, you have that one enabled. It's default since, I think, March this year. Um, so most most of your agents should already be v2 so there shouldn't be a problem with with that and so um, to to make it work we will need to create a new service account for the Jovo cli um, to make sure it's it's allowed to um, to deploy um, with the cli and so um, you can click on service account and there can you can create a new role or a new service account here so uh, with with the right permissions to deploy to to the Google Cloud, and so if we create a new service account, we can give it any name. We could, for example, just call it Jovo CLI, and then select the role, and we would need to give it the Dialogflow API admin role. And the important thing to do is to check the furnish a new private key option. So this will uh, download a, a private key, which will then be used to authenticate with the Google Cloud. And, and then afterwards we can use it um, to deploy to, to Dialogflow. So if we now save that role, this will automatically uh, download the JSON file so we can find it here now. And uh, what, what we usually do is we, let's open it up in the finder again. We usually create in the project, create a config folder and save the file there. And so we could name it Yan local, for example. So this is my uh, my key file for this service account, and um, and now we just need to make sure that the CLI knows where to look for the key file. And so in the app.json, um, we we have two things that we need to add. So let's let's do that here. So we need to add the project ID and the path to the key file where to look for. So let's go to Google Action. Dialog flow, and then we have project ID, which is a string, and then we have key file. Okay, so uh, and we want to keep things organized, and so this is why we're going to use environment variables like described in the previous video, and so we can do something like dialog flow project. ID and we can do dialog flow key file. Okay, and so in our environment variables, we can use these two here and add them to our two current ones. So here we have the dialog flow project ID, we have the dialog flow key file. Okay, so let's look for the project ID. Um, you can find it in the settings here. Here it is, stage test agent. So let's paste that here. And the key file, um, which is in the folder config called um, yanlocal.json. Okay, so now um, we should be able to, um, to authenticate with these two files if we're in the local stage. And so uh, there's one more thing you need to set up. I've set it up already is um, uh, the Jovo CLI, um, similarly as it uses the, the Ask CLI for deploying into the Alexa developer platform, it uses the Google Cloud SDK to deploy to the Google Cloud platform. So, and here's a quick start guide. I will paste it into the video descriptions to um, that help you get started with all the, all the different operating systems and after you've set it up, um, it works. And so let's let's take a look. Uh, maybe we can change one one quick thing uh, to make sure that um, that it works. So let's go into our models folder and maybe 
add another phrase to the hello world intent. Okay. For example, say hi. Okay, save that. So we need to build again, so we'll build. And this updated the platforms folder. So if we now go to Google Action and then to the intents and there we have hello world intent um, user says and uh, there you can find the say hi. And so if we now do Java deploy and again, we will only deploy the, the Google Action, so we don't want to wait for the Alexa interaction model to be built. And so this should work then. Okay, so it's got the right uh, project ID, uh, a restoring agent for this project. It started the training, so it should work. So if we take a look here at the dialog flow agent and take a look at the Hello World intent, you can find uh, the training phrase say hi was added. So this worked. And so in this way, you can, uh, you can add your dialog flow agent to different stages. So for now, for the dev stage, we'll just use, uh, use the same options and we'll change that later uh, to a shared repository. And so, and this is, uh, this is how it works. So ideally you would have different uh, dialogue flow agents for different stages, maybe even in different accounts. Jovo CLI will just use whichever key file is, uh, is needed and then authenticate with the cloud SDK or the Google Cloud Platform and then uh, automatically deploy it to Dialogflow. And so this was it. So um, it's a few more manual steps uh, to be done uh, compared to an Alexa skill, but it's definitely worth it uh, for, uh, for a seamless development flow um, if you also set it up so that it works uh, so we don't have to do everything by hand um, on the Dialogflow website. Thanks a lot. See you soon.